Breakthrough, China's moon rover reveals what lies beneath the lunar far side. I'm Steve Belair, welcome to Breakthroughs. The far side of the moon is a lunar layer cape. New data from China's Chang'e 4 lander and U-2-2 rover reveal alternating layers of coarse rock and fine soil down to a depth of 40 meters, suggesting a history of violent impacts. Scientists report February 26 in Science Advances. We know much of the moon's near side from the Soviet Lunokhod and American Apollo programs, but little about the far side, says lunar scientist Yan Su of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing. The Chang'e 4 mission revealed the first ground truth detailed subsurface stratigraphy on the far side of the moon. Chang'e 4 and U-2 tube became the first spacecraft to land on the far side in January 2019, touching down inside the 186 kilometer wide Von Karman crater. As U-2 explored the crater, which lies within the 2500 kilometer wide South Pole Aiken Basin, the rover sent radar pulses into the ground to probe the material beneath its wheels. Lunar scientist Chun Lei Li, also of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, and colleagues analyzed the 106 meter path that the rover took in its first two lunar days, about two Earth months, of collecting data. The team discovered a layer about 12 meters thick in the fine soil of regolith close to the surface. It's like being on very clean sand, said study co-author Elena Patinelli of Roma Tre University in Italy. It's like you're on the beach. Below that fine soil, the rover found another layer of about 12 meters containing coarser material embedded with larger rocks, like cherries and a fruitcake. The lower still was a series of alternating coarse and fine materials spanning depths of about 24 meters down to roughly 40 meters, the limit of the rover's radar. Those layers were probably created by material ejected by successive impacts, the researcher said. The floor of the Von Karman crater is a smooth sheet of cooled lava from long ago volcanic activity. But that lava has been pummeled repeatedly and covered up by material called ejecta that is scattered when objects like meteorites slam into the lunar surface and leave craters behind. That's a really violent process, says lunar geologist Daniel Moriarty of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, who was not involved in the study. Some of the ejecta could have come from as deep as the moon's mantle. The top layer of smooth sand is probably the results of the surface being pulverized by micrometeorites and cracked by extreme temperature shifts over time. I'll leave a link in the description to the full article and as usual please like, share, subscribe and take care.